Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on this Saturday evening. Party night, right? Party weekend going on. July 18th, 2020, about 6.15 p.m. West Coast time. Uh, UTC time, right around the same time, 0117. On the uh, 19th of July. Taking a look at the earthquake 3D globe here, and uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity on the ramp up out here on the western at least the southwestern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. For the most part, activity has died down dramatically over here uh, towards Japan and all throughout the uh, Philippines and the Indonesia Islands area with no recorded earthquake activity above at least 4.0 here according to the USGS globe here. And a lot of this activity <clears throat> about ready to drop off the globe here uh, the 4.8 and also the other 4.8 uh, indicating red rings which indicates older earthquake activity and also uh, uh, down through this portion of the uh, Indonesia Islands area shooting out towards Fiji Islands all that old earthquake activity old news if you will right uh, the latest news is the 6.1 earthquake activity out here uh, right around Fiji and quite a few fours popping off afterwards um, that's a pretty pretty good size quake out there but this area of the Pacific this area of the Pacific Ring of Fire is definitely no stranger to large earthquakes or earthquakes in general uh, for that matter definitely a, a large amount of earthquakes have taken place out there uh, in the Pacific along the Pacific Ring of Fire right um, what do you expect to happen along the Pacific Ring of Fire well earthquakes a lot of earthquakes quite a bit of earthquakes folks we're not talking about here and there one or two we're talking about a major <laughs> major amount of earthquakes taking place out there throughout history and this is just a historical map here from the usgs showing uh, the latest earthquake there that 6.1 um, in the star right you see the star let's go ahead and bring that up to a different scale uh, surrounded by rings here check out all the earthquake activity right right out there there's a lot folks quite a bit so this is no surprise it's not anything to panic about this is something typical and what we call average earthquake activity out here along the Pacific Ring of Fire this is not something to um, you know panic about whatsoever so I figured I would point out that historical map there um, going towards Alaska region, a little bit of earthquake activity out there, 4.1 near Lyme Village, Alaska. And also up here along Canada, we're seeing a little bit of earth earthquake activity, um, kind of shooting north there, if you will. Uh, Anchorage, seeing a little bit of earthquake activity out there as well, north of Anchorage, a 2.5 near Sutton Al Alpine, Alaska, 28 kilometers below surface, that earthquake took place. Uh, the 4.1, roughly about 15 kilometers below the surface there. Uh, of course, the subduction zone here, this area right here that you can see that red line, I, you know, it's the Alaska Lucian Mega Thrust area. Uh, this is obviously an area that's not, <laughs> not going to shoot out little two-pointers. This is going to throw out nine-pointers or above uh, when this thing goes, but uh, luckily that's not looking likely anytime soon um, but it will happen again no doubt um, uh, let's see what do we got 2.5 and above if you look at the United States not a whole lot of activity here on the map folks some activity taking place out there in Nevada a little bit of activity up there in Idaho and some activity taking place out here around Pecos right Pecos Texas even though it claims Odessa Odessa and it looks like what in the world i am not even for sure the name of that town koyanosa i don't know maybe i've probably been through there quite a few times because i do storm chase out there quite often um in fact i was probably out there uh back in march or april storm chasing around this area so i may have been through that region but uh this activity taking place out there a lot of fracking operations going on out there. Take a look globally, aside from the Fiji 6.1 earthquake, 
a lot of uh, a lot of well i would say a little bit of activity taking place out here along the central east pacific rise separation zone if you will uh, a couple four pointers um, migrating if you will down here along the region while the western part sees the build up this part sees the separate part if you will not a whole lot of pressure being applied out here but separation is playing a part for sure uh, South America region 4.3 and a 4.7 out here near Chile not a whole lot of mega activity going on uh, taking a look at the US or at least the Caltech website pretty average folks not a whole lot of activity going on out here along the west coast looking at the uh, well let's go to the uh, Yellowstone seismograph stations here most of this activity that you're seeing on the globe here is from the 6.1 magnitude quake showing up on the distant stations such as this the yellowstone stations as far as localized earthquake activity none to announce no specific earthquake swarms no type of uh, magma movement no fear mongering if you will here at yellowstone national park folks so it's kind, of, it's kind of, you know, if you want the facts, folks, uh, look at the seismograph stations. Everyone loves to throw out the fear mongering of Yellowstone National Park. Okay, I could put, I could put a, uh, a, uh, oh man, I could put a Yellowstone thumbnail with some mega earthquake spikes on it and say, hey, Yellowstone, Yellowstone's about to blow and get a million views on this video but when i state when i state the facts when i state that there's no need for panic here along the yellowstone area i get like a thousand views so you know fear sells right but i'm all about facts and that's all that matters here on this channel so no fear mongering at all take that to the other channels if you will uh, let's go ahead and check out the trimmer map just for the heck of it. This is the Cascadia subduction zone along, well, obviously Vancouver Island, all throughout Oregon and Washington into portions of Northern Cal. Right there along that spike is where it ends. A lot of activity up in Southern Washington today, but uh, no mega large scale movement or trimmer movement along the Cascadia subduction zone so looking good in that department uh, let's see what else we got going on here volcanoes right a lot of volcanic activity out there if we didn't have volcanic activity I think we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be in that S word and that's not a good place to be at at all these are um, kind of activity active volcanoes out there along the uh, Pacific and uh, the Eastern Pacific if you will through uh, Mexico and it looks like into portions of South America but we're not going to go into each specific active area but there's definitely some activity going on out there in the volcanic world which is please oh my gosh please please come we need volcanic activity if we don't we're looking at some mega problems out there So anyway, folks, going back out here to the Earthquake 3D globe, um, latest quake on the globe shows it up there in Alaska. That four, what, what do we got there? Four point, uh, four point five up there. Go ahead and, let's go ahead and click on that. Four point one. My my bad. My bad. I seen a five. It was kind of confusing. It's all good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's uh. We're looking good out there, folks, for right now. As far as earthquake activity, volcanic activity, space weather is pretty minimal right now. Um, nothing to be concerned about as far as any type of heightened alert activities. So it's always good to be prepared. It's always good to be on guard, if you will, uh, no matter where you're at. West Coast, East Coast, uh, Oklahoma, South Dakota, South Dakota. 
Yellowstone National Park's looking at you, right? It's always good to be prepared no matter where you're at out here in the uh, in the region. So I hope everyone out there has a great night. Uh, please stay safe out there. It is Saturday night. There's a lot of, man, I tell you what, there's, huh, I've been listening to the scanner. There's a lot of idiots out there driving DUI and uh, creating some accidents out there for no, normal folks. So please, folks, uh, play it safe. You know, seriously, play it safe. Just don't uh, don't drink and drive, okay? If you see someone drinking and driving out there or you think they're intoxicated, please, I'm, I'm not even joking, please don't hesitate to report them in. Uh, it's just something that we need to do as uh, concerned citizens, right? It's not about minding your own business. It's about saving a life. So those people can go and sit in jail Think about what they did uh, before they killed somebody. Anyway, have a good night, folks. We'll chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.